Okay, so we're going to have a look at expanding double brackets with thirds. So here's our first question. Uh, again, make sure you've got a piece of paper, writing down some examples because you've got plenty to have a go at. But let's get started with the first one. So I'm going to treat this exactly the way as I would with normal double brackets when I'm doing algebra. And that process for me that I use is I first times these first two numbers together, so 3 times 3, and I just write them in a nice logical order, so that's 9. Then going from the 3 to this root 5 at the end, being careful of the symbol there, it's negative root 5, okay? So it's 3 times negative root 5, which is negative 3 root 5. And then I move below onto the next one, so root 5 times this root 3 makes plus 3 root 5 and the final one there from the root 5 to the root 5 makes and it's a positive root 5 times a negative root 5 so my answer is going to be negative it's going to make root 25 and as we've seen before that just simplifies down to 5 so it's minus 5 negative 5 there okay now we just need to collect these pieces together so I have two numbers I've got the one at the front and the one at the end, so I've got 9 take away 5, 9 take away 5 is 4, and I've got these two roots in the middle, okay, I've got negative 3 root 5 and positive 3 root 5, and they just cancel each other out, so negative 3 lots of root 5, add 3 lots of root 5 just gets you to 0, so I don't need to worry about writing anything else, my final answer there is 4, okay, and this is quite a key one, if you have a look at the original question, okay, they were the same brackets, one had a positive, one had a negative, so it's very similar to algebra when you have a difference of two squares, those two middle pieces there have cancelled each other out and our final answer is four. Okay, on to our next question. Okay, here we go, so another double bracket. Different to the one above, obviously they're not the same brackets this time with different symbols, we've just got two uh, standalone brackets here, so I'm going to follow the same process, two times five is ten, two times negative root three is negative 2 root 3. Onto the bottom, root 3 times 5 is positive 5 root 3 there because we've got a positive symbol in front of our root 3, so plus 5 root 3. And then positive root 3 times negative root 3 again makes negative root 9, which is minus 3. And then finishing that up, I just need to tidy it up again. So I've got 10 take away 3, my two numbers. 10 take away 3 is 7. And my two thirds, I've got negative 2 root 3, add 5 root 3. So negative 2, add 5, is positive 3, so it's plus 3 root 3. There we go, I can collect those two thirds in the middle together, and that's my final answer there, 7 plus 3 root 3. Okay, on to the last one before you have a go. Okay, so slightly different wording here, and a slightly different sort of question. So write 2 plus root 5 in brackets squared in the form a plus b root 5, where a and b are integers. Again, integers being whole numbers. So let's have a look at this question. So this bracket, 2 plus root 5 squared, is just a double bracket. It's just another way of writing when a bracket is being times by itself. So I'm going to rewrite this question. 2 plus root 5 brackets, 2 plus root 5. Okay, I'm going to expand it from there. So, same process, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times root 5 is plus 2 root 5, then we have another one there, plus another 2 root 5, and the final one, root 5 times root 5 again is root 25, they're both positive symbols this time, so it's not going to turn negative, we just have plus 5, because root 25 is 5. And there we go, and just like before, tidying it up, we have 4 and a 5, and that makes 9. And then 2 root 5, add another 2 root 5, combines to make 4 lots of root 5. Okay, 2 lots of root 5 and 2 lots of root 5 will make 4 lots of root 5 in total. Right, there we go, so there's three examples. Hopefully you've uh, written some of those down, but I've got some questions for you to have a go at now. Only three, okay, so here they are. Okay, so pause the video there, I'll go through the answers in just a sec. Right, okay, so the first one, root 3 times root 3 is 9. Root 3 times negative root 7 is negative 3 root 7. Root 7 times 3 is positive 3 root 7. And the final one, root 7 times negative root 7 is negative root 49, which is negative 7. And then tidying that up, 9 take away 7, the 9 at the front, 7 at the back is 2. And negative root 3 add um, sorry, negative 3 root 7, add 3 root 7, just cancels out to 0. So my final answer for that first one's 2. 
Okay, on to the second one. Three times six is 18. Three times negative root five is negative three root five. Root five times six is positive six root five. And the last one, root five times negative root five is negative five. And again, tidying it up, 18 take five is 13. And negative three lots of root five, add six lots of root five gives us positive three lots of root five. So there's our final answer, 13 plus three root five. Right, and on to our last one. Uh, we've got to write, rewrite this question, so two plus root three times another two plus root three. Okay. So two times two is four. Two times the root three is two root three. Onto the bottom, root three times two is another two root three. And root three times root three is three, and that's positive three again this time. Okay, so adding those all, all up, we've got the four at the front, a three at the back, which makes seven. And then our two lots of two root three makes four root three. So we've got seven plus four root three for our final answer there. Right, let's have a look at some slightly different ones. Right, okay, here we go. So expand and simplify this. So slightly different look. We've got a number in front of this two root three here. And also, this is a slightly odd one because we've got a third in here which isn't fully simplified. Okay, we've got a root eight there. Now you don't have to simplify it at this point. We can see if we can simplify it later on. You wouldn't be wrong to simplify it now. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it and see what happens. Okay, so just take note, there are some slight differences in this question, but let's have a look. Five times three is 15. Five times negative root eight is negative five root eight. 2 root 2 times 3, remember numbers times numbers, thirds times thirds, so it's just 2 times 3, which is 6, so plus 6. Root 2, and there's no root with the 3, so just root 2. And then finishing the last part off, it's positive times a negative, so I've got negative. I'm just going to work this out to the side. 2 times the 1 there is 2, and root 2 times root 8, so we get 2 root 16 negative 2 root 16 and root 16 is 4 so that's negative 2 times 4 which is negative 8 okay well if we do that to the side here look 2 times 4 which is going to be 8 so let's just get rid of that working out there and put negative 8 okay we can start to tidy this up now we've got 15 take away 8 which we can do but these thirds aren't gonna aren't gonna simplify now so what I need to have to have a go at doing is first simplifying this because we've got a five root eight there and that can simplify. So again, I'm just gonna do that to the side, five lots of root eight. So ignoring the five, root eight is root four times root two, which is two root two. And again, just remembering we did actually have five lots of that. So five lots of two root two is 10 root two. So rather than writing this 5 root 8 here, I'm going to write 10 root 2. So I'm going to rewrite this question. I've got 15 minus 10 root 2 plus 6 root 2 minus 8. So 15 take away 8 is 7. And then minus 10 lots of root 2, add 6 lots of root 2, leaves me with negative 4 lots of root 2. Right, there we go. So slightly harder there, we've got little bits going on where we've got to just be careful to simplify. Um, but uh, there are little hints there that we, you know, with, the, with spotting the root eight to start with that there's gonna be some simplifying going on. Okay, so some slightly different things can appear in these questions. Let's have a look at another. Okay, so expanding this, let's have a look. So seven times two is 14. Seven times negative three root six is negative 21 root six onto the bottom. 2 root 3 times 2, that's positive 2 root 3 times 2, so positive 4 root 3. And 2 root 3 times a negative 3 root 6, so 2 times the 3, and it's positive times negative, so 2 times the 3 is negative 6. And then root 3 times root 6 gives us root 18. Okay, we've got some, an interesting one here because, let's have a look, we've got 14 at the start, 
We don't have a number at the end this time. We've got 21 root 6, that doesn't simplify. Root 6 doesn't go any smaller. We've got 4 root 3, that doesn't simplify. Root 3 doesn't go any smaller. And then we've got this 6 root 18. Now root 18 does simplify, so let's see what happens if we simplify that down, see if any of these can join up. If it makes a different root to this 6 or this 3, then none of them are going to join up and we'll have a final answer. But we do need to simplify this 6 root 18. So I'm going to do that to the side. Let's have a look. So 6 root 18. So ignoring the 6, root 18 is root 9 times root 2, which is 3 root 2. And then again, just like before, remembering that's 6 lots of 3 root 2. So that's 18 root 2. Right, OK, here's an interesting one then. So let's write what we've got now. We've got 14 minus 21 root 6, which doesn't simplify. Add 4 root 3, which doesn't simplify. Take away 18 root 2, which again doesn't simplify. OK, so we'd have to leave that like that because we've got a root 6, a root 3, a root 2, a normal number. So that would be our final answer, which obviously looks very different to some of the others. but expect anything in the way that the answers look here. Right, so I've got a few for you to have a go at. Only three questions again. So I'm going to give them to you now. Again, pause the video, have a go, and I'll go through the answers. OK, so pause there, and off you go. OK, so answers for these. Some slightly different looking questions again. So the first one. 5 times 7 35. 5 times 2 root 3 is 10 root 3. Negative root 8 times 7 is negative 7 root 8 and negative root 8 times 2 root 3 well one, at the, one in front of the root 8 so 2 so negative 2 root 24 okay so we've got quite a lot going on here 35 stays as 35 10 root 3 doesn't simplify 7 root 8 does simplify root 8 let's have a look root 8 simplifies down to root 4 times root 2, which is 2 root 2. OK, so that negative 7 root 8 can turn into 2 root 2. So 35 plus 10 root 3 minus 2 root 2. And root 24 simplifies as well, so we're going to have to do that one as well. So 2 root 24. So 2 root 24, I'm going to do that over here. Root 24 is root 4 times root 6, which is 2 root 6. And again, we have two lots of that, so it's two lots of 2 root 6, which is going to leave us with, at the end here, minus 4 root 6. So we've got 35, add 10 root 3, take away 2 root 2, take away 4 root 6. So none of those join up, so there's quite a long answer there, but that is our final answer. OK, on to the middle one. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times the 3 root 2 is 9 root 2. Root 5 times 5 is 5 root 5. And root 5 times 3 root 2 is 3 root 10. OK, so let's check those. 9 root 2 doesn't simplify, 5 root 5 doesn't simplify, and 3 root 10 doesn't simplify either. So there we go, that's quite a nice one. We've got our final answer there. OK, and on to the last one. Root 12 minus root 3 squared. So let's rewrite that. Root 12 minus root 3 times another root 12 minus root 3. OK, so root 12 times root 12 is 12, or root 144, so we get 12. Root 12 times negative root 3 is negative root 36. The square root of 36 is 6. So if it's negative root 36, we get minus 6. On to the next one, negative root 3 times negative root uh, times root 12 again, sorry. So that's another negative 6. And our last one, negative root 3 times negative root 3 is positive, negative times the negative is positive, root 9, and that's which is plus 3. All right, so different again. This one's just given us pure numbers here. So we've got 12, take away 6, take away 6, add 3. 12 take away 6 is 6, take away another 6 is 0, add the 3. Just leaves you with an answer of 3. 
So some very different questions there. First one, we had to be very careful once we'd expanded it that we, we simplified the root eight, the root 24. The second one, there was no simplifying at all. We just got a very long answer with nothing that joined up. And then that last one there, completely different to the others, we ended up with four whole numbers and a final answer of three. Okay, so before we finish, I've got one last one for you to have a look at. Here it is, so have a go, and I will go over the answers in a sec. Okay then, last question, it says find five minus root eight times seven plus root two, leaving your answer in the form a plus b root two. And I quite like this, the way the question's written, because it gives us a little hint there that it is all gonna simplify down to a root two at the end of the third parts. So let's have a look. Five times seven is 35. Five times root two is five root two. Negative root eight times seven is negative seven root eight. And negative root eight times root two is negative root 16. Okay, let's see what happens here. Well, first things first, negative root 16 is negative four, isn't it? So we can just write that there, negative four. We dealt with that bit straight away. The other bit that stands out to me is this one here. So this actually isn't a root two, is it? We've seen before, root eight does need to be simplified. So again, I'm gonna do that to the side. I've got seven root eight to simplify. So root eight is root four times root two, which is two root two. And again, just like before, just need to remember to bring that seven back down because it was seven lots of that. So final answer there was 14 root two. So I'm gonna swap this seven root eight for a 14 root two. And let's rewrite that. I'll tidy up these numbers though. So we have 35 take away four at the start, which is 31. Then we have plus five root two, take away 14 root two. There we go. Okay, tidying up these root twos. We've definitely got 31, that's not gonna change, but we've got positive five root two, take away 14 root two. Okay, so five take away 14 is negative nine root two. Okay, so 31 minus nine root two. Now that's a little bit strange as well because in the question here it has a plus okay but it just means that value of b there is negative 9 okay which is obviously a silly strange way of writing it but it would be 31 plus negative 9 root 2 okay but we obviously wouldn't write it like that we'd just take away take get rid of that positive symbol there and just write the minus like we have in our answer so 31 minus 9 root 2 okay brilliant all right, so next time we're gonna have a look at rationalizing the denominator. Um, but if you like that video, if it's helpful, again, please like, please comment, please subscribe, you know, drop a, drop a comment if you'd like some particular videos to be done, happy to do that. Okay, and I'll see you for the next one.